Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. There are frustrating things about law enforcement. You deal with a lot of people that you you deal with constantly. The repeat offenders that you know personally, the, you see their face, you know who they are. Uh, and that gets frustrating. You think you do a, a good job, you put the bad guy in jail, and two days later there he is walking down the street. I dispatched on a disturbance. Uh, disturbing party has returned to the scene. It sounds like officers have been here a couple more times tonight. So we're probably going to have to do something about this call so we don't get called back. What's going on? He tried to take my clothes out Who did? Who's this guy? He tried to take my daughter's clothes off right in front of me. I don't touch your face. Stay seated. 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 Get over here. Go tell him. My daughter in front of me in my own house. You saw him. Ma'am. Ma'am. Bitch for having a son. Do you want police assistance or not? Do you want police assistance or not? Shut up, took your crazy Louis Tune man. Ma'am. Can you not hear me? Do you want my help or not? Tell me what is going on. I shot you in your The police just left him. He was going to take his ass. Tell me what's going on. I'm a what? I'm a simple black woman, though. What, what, what did I tell you to do? What did I tell you to do? Stay right there. Tell me what's going on. Where the police car just left here. The police, tell me what's going on. The police just left here. Well, that he, I can't help that. I'm he, here now. Tell me what's going I'm, on. I'm telling you, he had he, the gas man had came and he had harassed him, telling him to leave. He said, get the away from the house and don't never come back over here. here talking no. about and so the police came over here. He was intoxicating and everything. They said he Who's he to you? He was nothing to me. What did he do? I was in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen. First thing. Hey, blind. Hey, blind. Hey, blind. I'm sick. Hey, blind. I'm sick. Hey, blind. 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 Yeah. That's the story, man. Go up to your house right now. Let me talk to him. That's him. Here. I'm shot, man. She's saying to this gentleman here, was, she's saying to this gentleman here was trying to take off her daughter's clothes. At this time, I don't know if it's consensual or what. Ma'am, I don't know this. You need to tell me this. I ain't trying to have him to sit somebody to rape my damn dog. He's a run. I can fly. Sir, can I talk to you a second? If you can touch, touch me, I'll give you some money. Sir, can I speak with you just a second? Thank you. Do you have a little bit of a Let me talk to you like a man. I'm with you, I'll give you some money if you touch me. You what? If you touch me, I'll give you some money. 
I ain't seeing sis. I'll give you some money for it. Check it out. We're not, here to, we're not here to harm you, sis. Yeah. We're not here to harm you at all. Okay? Just right here. Okay. Richard! Get it down! Go to the bank, get some money. Go to the bank, get some money right now. I give you everything I got. You stand up. I don't want my ass cut. I don't want to take no... I ain't gonna spit on nobody. I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm do what God tell me to do. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm Father, the charge in heaven. I'll be your name. If they kingdom come, that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's the kingdom, the power, the glory. We have been there. Amen. I don't want to sit either. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat, sir. I just want to sit down right here. You okay? Oh, I got to find two flashlights. Leaping the fence, running in the damn pile of wood. My daughter, me and my daughter were standing in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and uh, he lifted up her dress, her, lifted up her this top. This was after we left the, yeah, the second time? Yeah, after y'all left. Yeah. After and then that's left. when you he called? Just, yeah, and okay. I called well, back, then, and then we had some, you know? And he picked her up and stuff okay. and said that he was going to right there in front of me. Yeah, and you know, I took my see, little cover and busted see, the second the time head. when we came out here, we didn't have anything besides just the traffic, right? Yeah. And we explained well, I mean, that to you. Standing here, y'all took them handcuffs off him. I said, he's he not going to cooperate. Y'all well, go ahead, consent. take him to the hospital, take him well, home. He ain't going to cooperate. Okay. Let's go. Search for battery. Everything else. Well, I had, had hold of him with the flashlight, and that kept me from getting hold of him. I caught him once, so that's when we fell on the wood pile, and nails went driving into my legs. So. Be sure to get your tetanus shot and do a work with this cop. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, where's he at, in there? Yeah, he's like it. Well, a lot of people we deal with out here, as you can tell, are on what we call water, which is uh, marijuana dipped in formaldehyde. That gentleman obviously was. He's trying to have sex with a young girl in front of the child's mother. Uh, now it's time to do a lot of paperwork and move on to the next one. We've got a pretty nice night tonight. You know, lots of good rain. We need it. But uh, it sure makes working outside uh, not too pleasurable. And we're coming up here right now on a domestic disturbance. A lady called and advised that her boyfriend's uh, hitting on her. The boyfriend comes back. He shows uh, warrants out of our city and out of the county. He also shows that he's uh, been priorly convicted of uh, assault and battery on law enforcement. So he's obviously not too happy to see the police. We'll go down here and see what the situation is tonight, though. One has an NCIC on the county. Has to be confirmed. One eighteen. I'm twenty-three. Is he there? Yeah, he's just. He's I don't there. know. He was there when they left. And he picked up the phone and threw it well, in the right. You got all the warrants yeah, information, didn't you? What's his name? Uh, Jerry. No. I wasn't saying that, was it? No, he's from Tennessee. Okay. Well, that, that's that car right there. That he car just he just tore up. Up. This is the gentleman here? Yep. Hey, man. Jerry. Hey, Jerry. I don't know. I don't care. Come on. Wake up, man. Hey. 
Jerry's. You gonna sign a complaint? Yes. Is this his house? It's it's both of ours apartments. We've been here in the June. And uh, we just came back here from Alabama. And my kids came to stay with us for a while until they find a place to live. That's what all the boxes are. It's a lot of it's my kids and stuff. Put them to your eye, Jerry. What how'd you cut your eye right there? Probably get it on the headboard. Well, these people said you uh, got all upset and was tearing up the house. Is that true? No. If he had touched her... What relation is he to you? Nothing. These two are my kids. This is my boyfriend. These both are my kids. Two are my kids. So he's your son and he's your boyfriend. Yeah, he's my boyfriend. Right. Okay. And this is her son back here. He was my boyfriend. What, you also dropped... Look, you were playing playing this one. I'll try to complain against him. Well, you can't... You you weren't getting at me, but you both live here. Oh you want him just out of here? You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? You got somewhere else you can go? You got somewhere else you can go? Yeah, but we're having a disturb. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry, we're having a disturbance here. It's a domestic thing. I'm either going to ask you to leave. I don't have no place to go. He doesn't have any place else to go. I don't. I'm from Tennessee. This is the only place I got. This is the only place I'm really. Uh -huh. They don't want any problems, so they're going to go ahead and leave. All right? You can stay here. You're going to stay here and sleep it off. Why? Well, because... Why? Why'd you tear up my stuff? Why'd you get drunk and tear up my car? I didn't tell you, Charlie. Right. The hell you did? I asked your son that. Well, oh, that's me. The muffler's off my car. My car is tore up. My plates are tore up. Stuff of mine is tore up. My... All right, well... Why'd you tear up my car? Well, like I told you. Why were you driving my car drunk drinking in it? And this is, why didn't you come pick me up? Doing good right now, like I said, he's, okay, just go ahead and have a seat, Jerry. Don't, no, we're done talking about this. Just have a seat and relax for a minute. I have to take a second. All right. Now I'm not going to touch it. What the hell did you break everything else for? Just go. Just go. Go. Come on, Craig. Go. Yeah. Let's go, man. Don't you even get up after him. Sit down. Go go on. Sit down, Jerry. Go on, Benjamin. Man. No, you're just for the problem. Go on out, man. Go on out, man. Pardon me? Ain't gonna be no fights here, okay? All right, ain't gonna be no fights. All right. I did the break out there. Well, you can explain that to her tomorrow. Right now, she's mad, and you've been drinking, and you can't talk too well. So tomorrow will be a better time to take care of that. All right. And then whatever you guys work out tomorrow is up to you guys. All right. I'm not gonna break your bags, but honey. All right, Jerry. Once you lock the door up, we're out of here. Bye. Right. Huh? Hey, if you got a problem, you can come up here tomorrow and call us back. Hey, I will. We'll deal with it. Let me tell you, this is my part. You're out tomorrow. You can't tell me I can get out of my part. I'm renting this part. Come on, this is this so I'm okay. And I'll rent this apartment. And you be out, and so would your boys be out on the street. I'm tired of taking care of you. I'm tired of raising your boys. Sir, go in the office. Sir, go in the apartment, close the door. It's done. Sir, Jerry, close the door. Please call me. Let me talk to you. How can I call you? You broke both the phones. I can talk to you. How can I talk to you? You broke the phones. Man, let's go ahead and go so we can, uh, come on, all right, Jerry, good idea. We can talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. If she wants to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. Just tell him you're going to Tennessee tomorrow. Yeah, come and get his ass with him tomorrow. All right, excuse me. She's going to help herself now. Hey, Jerry, what the hell are you doing? Hey, Jerry, what the You've also seen the condition he's in. He's probably going to go ahead and uh, go to sleep, and he'll probably be calling tonight real soon. Uh, can I take my pen? Thank you, young lady. That's all right. Well, you all try to have a good evening, you hear? It was kind of funny. Dude was uh, not exactly all there, was he? He just got here from Alabama. He's already in trouble. I've been married about three years now, and it's been kind of a funny deal. She worked down at the county where I was a deputy. She was a dispatcher there. She got hired by Kansas City as a dispatcher, and I followed her up here being an officer. Both of us being in law enforcement, we can relate to each other a lot better, and 
understand the things we each go through and kind of help each other through them. Got a call. Outside disturbance, supposed to contact uh, security. And since we've been dispatched, that they've updated it, saying it's a disturbance between a male and a female out in the street. Clear. Somebody on the left over here, somebody on the right. Got two different folks, people here. What's going on? What's up, guy? What's going on, y'all? No, uh, Chill out, dude. What's going nothing? on? No, no, Sit no, over. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing okay, happens. I'm talking to him, okay? He's talking to me. What's going on here? Just, uh, nothing. Why don't you go stand over by well, that tree? Well, something is. I just... Why don't you uh, put your hands behind your back, partner? Why? I'm trying to get my... Just do what I say. All right? Yes, sir. Okay, all hey, right. Hey, all right, hey. I'm trying. Hey. I'm trying. Damn, man. Hey, young Try a little harder. Right. Hey, I'm trying to try. You back up, partner. The bill falls. The bill falls to my hand. What are you guys doing this for? When I tell you to do something, you do it. Who's this? The police. Oh, well. Tell you what, Tammy, do me a favor. Go sit up on the porch, and I'm going to come up and talk to you again here in a second. You want an ambulance? No. You probably need one. I don't care. Why is he being arrested? He never touched me. Okay, we'll go up on the porch, Why and I'll come up and talk to you here in a second, okay? Yeah. How'd you get the blood on your shirt? I don't know. I was hugging her for one. Yeah, but listen, officer, I don't lie. Okay. okay, I'm not saying you are. I'm just telling you what they told me. We was all fighting. We was all fighting. But no, I was I was trying to shut the fight down as all as I was trying, trying to shut to. the fight down? Yes, sir. You know that. No, I don't know that because we weren't here. You don't understand that. Was I trying not to shut the fight down? I was always. Then why were you out here yelling when we were walking up the sidewalk? Because he was trying to calm me down. That's I was trying to calm her down, right. Stop so you're trying to calm fight. her down by out here yelling? Right. Well, well that doesn't make do? much sense. Just. You can't be out here yelling in the street creating a disturbance. That, I know that, sir. But I was just trying to shut everybody down. Is this your girlfriend? Right no, it's my cousin. Your cousin? She's my cousin. But well, he's my cousin too. He's black, but he's my cousin. Real cousin he's, or play cousin? No, he's with my cousin. Is that her? Is that her boyfriend? No. No, the other girl up in the house, but she's all right. I want you to tell me the truth. They I want was, you to be honest. They with was, you. they was, you know, they was uh, in an argument because he had spent the night with some other girl. So why is she saying that she got into it with somebody else? Because she didn't want him to go to jail. She didn't want him to go to jail. And their first cousins. Blood relation? We all are. All of our mothers are sisters. Okay. You know, if he hits her and we have a witness, you're a witness, then he's got to go to jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. So hang tight. I'm going to have some information for you, okay? Right. I'm going to go up and get the car. Okay. You're going to be all right? Oh, right, I'm fine. Where do you live at? Right here. Why don't you go inside? He didn't do nothing, so y'all should let him go. Okay. Hey, hey, That's fine. I'm the one who's trying to stop the fight. Gary, that dude y'all went and dropped off. Where did you drop him off at? Because he's the one who busted my nose up. Well, Come no, here for me. That's my sister, so she can Come tell her. Who are you related to up there? That's my sister right there, and that's my cousin. That's Were you here when they got into a fight? No, I wasn't. Where you been? I've been over to her, her, her sister's house. You weren't here at all when anything happened? No, not when no fight happened, no. Hey, if you can believe there was a fight. Stand back by the truck. You can ask Tammy, that's my sister. If there was a fight, I would have been here for her. I wouldn't have did that, you know. You live here with him? Yeah, I do. I don't think Mark hit you. I think Clifford no. hit you. No, he didn't, Gary. Of course, you're no, lying to me. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. She's lying to you. Gary. Gary, all of us are swimming Clifford, together. nothing. Gary, all of us You hit my together. sister again. I'll walk. You walk. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, once you go I'm inside, if that's where you're going, otherwise leave. I'm okay? We're not going to stand out here and yell at each other. Go in the house before you go to jail. I had no choice but to take you to jail for domestic violence assault. Kathy says that you hit her. That's an independent witness. I have to take her at her word. Whether she wants to sign a complaint or not, you go to jail for that, okay? Tell mom. No, I'll tell mom. Just stay right here. I am. She's out. All of you out. 
Tammy. Never wanted you out. You know, see, what I don't understand is, is that we're out here trying to help you, and you're not wanting to cooperate. I'm cooperating. I'm telling you, he did not do it. Okay, whatever. That's yeah, fine. Whatever. That's what y'all keep saying. It's whatever, whatever. And we will be back. All right, so we are. Then what did you guys right. dog me for? Thank I tried to stop and fight all night, Gary. I love y'all. Bye. Hey. Bye. Uh, who's saying that? Let me out of his handcuffs. And I'll tell you what. Have a seat hey, in You know that he did this to you. You know he did it. I don't know why you're trying to protect him. I, know, I realize his family, but do you want to protect somebody that's going to do things like that to you? Huh? No, he, we was just... Okay, that's fine. He, Tell his mom that he's in jail. I'll go call his mom right now is what I'll do. Okay, cost him a $1,000 bond to get out. All right, how much is that the bondsman? 20%. 200 bucks. How come Tammy's protecting him tonight? How come she didn't want to say what really happened? Because she's in love with dude. So what? She told me they were involved. This guy she's involved with? Mm -hmm. And it's her first cousin? Mm -hmm. And they're sexually involved? Yes. They're sick, huh? Only in 10 seconds. Sick. All right, thanks a lot. I tell you, it's just not, not right about that. Well, let's go on in. It's over for tonight, man. Well, they're going to loot us. Westbound, 59 Street, X-ray 6 Lincoln. Looks like a white Chevy, possibly four-door old. Can you check the hot sheet? 244 has a good call. Attention to load on 670 Indiana, Westbound on 57. Go ahead, sir. That was him, sir, locking up his brakes to make it around the corner. I copied X6 Lincoln 31, it says no one. Lincoln 31, Lincoln 31. This car is uh, attempting to elude us right now. Well. Oh. Wait, it's, it's not, not stolen, stolling. but he's just not stopping for us. Are we going to get on the air? 211, 60 at the Nottonwood. He's officially refusing to stop. Hold the air. Well, hold the air. He's stopping. Get out of the car right, right now. Right now. Get, get your hands in now. Car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. Back here, hands, keep your hands up, right now. Hands on the hood, right there, get down. Right. 211, you can clear it, party in custody, can you start a wagon? You use math now? No. Did you ever use it? I had before. When's the last time you used it? Uh, it's been quite a while. Okay. I live right there. I'll just Where's your address? Right there. Does he live right here? Yeah. Well, he's... He's under arrest. Okay? He's under arrest, ma'am. What happened? He's going down Brighton at a high rate of speed. We're trying to catch him. Hit the lights. He's not stopping for us. I... I uh, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and sit down for me. You can sit. How are you getting in this trunk? White male. You got to push down on the R stairs. I'll get it. I'll get it. Have a seat. Pop. Push down a little bit. This is Dad. 80 miles an hour down Brighton. Almost lost control. Almost slammed in the front of a semi. Refused to stop for us. He's DUI. He's under arrest. He's trying to lose to us? No. Negative. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we'll on Give him a break. Give him a break, sir. When you when you initiate the police and lights and sirens, you're supposed to stop. All right. I don't cut brakes for that. Um, when we heard when you heard the siren, it was about 59th and Elmwood is when we flipped on the siren and the lights to try to pull him over. He kept going, kept going, and then at 60th, he came up, started to slow down, pull over right here. This is obviously where he lives, and uh, that was it. So. Man, I'm just trying to make it home. Man. Trying to make it home. You're doing about 80 miles an hour. 
What's his first name? Ronald. Hey, Ronald. Real quick. Why were you running? Why were you? Why are you? Why were you going so fast? Man, just a typical thing. Typical thing. Damn Brighton. Huh? Damn Brighton's a typical run? road. You do that all the time? Do we, need to, yeah. do we need to hang out down there a lot more and watch you? No, I wouldn't. You about yeah. smacked that semi. You Where were you? No, I, you, about, you about ended up dead and paled on the front of a semi. No, that's just typical. That's just a road to cruise you down. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. Let's go to jail. We'll see you back at the station. Right now he's under arrest for DUI and attempting to elude and we're heading out to the station right now to get the processing done and he'll be asked a bunch of questions about the DUI and asked to submit to the uh, breathalyzer uh, and then he'll be booked in. You want him going in with the cuffs in the front? Yeah, that seems very near. Step in. Thank you. Yep. See this line right here? Okay. Well, listen to me until I tell you to start, okay? Don't fall over. Yeah. What I want you to do, you listen? Yes. You're going to take nine steps, heel to toe. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. You have the right, listen to me, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Okay, you have the right to talk to a lawyer and to have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any of the questions or make any statements. You understand the rights I've explained to you? Yes, sir. Okay. You can relax. Sit back and relax. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Easy for you, sir. Okay, what I want you to do is take a long, deep breath and blow into there until I tell you to stop, okay? You gotta keep blowing. Okay, you ready? Hit it, anytime you're ready, go. Until the tone stops. Take a deep breath and keep blowing. You gotta blow hard. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep going. Almost there, you almost got it. Keep going. Okay, that's good. I messed up, let me do it again. No. Oh, come on. You got it, that's it, right there. <laughs> What's that mean? What's that mean? Damn. You guys all drink, don't you? Everybody here drinks, right? I know. So that means instead of stopping at three, I drank four. We got somewhere for you, see. We got room for you for a little bit. Before you know it, you'll be out of here. Here's a character. You <laughs> My short stint in college, I took a uh, criminal justice class. And the instructor was at the front of the class, and he looks at everybody, and he, he'd been a police officer since 1940-something. He served in the MPs in World War II, and he just took it for granted that if you took his class, that's what, by golly, that's what you were gonna do is be a police officer. And he looked at everybody in the room and said, someday when you're police officers, you'll understand why I'm saying these things. Our address here is for northbound. We've got a guy pushing a hot water heater in a cart down the street, and we're going to see what's up with this. Hey, come here, partner. Where'd you get this at? See that vacant lot right there? Somebody just dumped it a few minutes ago. This thing's still leaking water, man. Yeah. Somebody just dumped it, and you just picked it up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. That thing is just cut. Yeah. They just dumped it. They just dumped it? I don't have nothing to cut it with. Tell you what, partner, uh, I'm going to let go of your hands, and I want you to put them back right. behind your back, okay? Right. No Don't give me no problems. Hey, no all right? Problem, Let's go. I need to step on the foot. Why do you have all these tools if it was just laying in an open lot? God. What's your mask for? This. Be wearing it. Dude, I got allergies, dog. Uh, 
I'm gonna walk back here and see if I can't find anything. You be all right with him? Yeah, I'm fine. Handcuffed? Are you a ninja? Yeah. You are? I got a brown belt and a quiet condo, black belt, second degree black belt in karate. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Pipes were laying with it? Yep. All of it together, package deal? No, I just, I jumped, man. This has all been sawed off too because there's still shavings laying down in there. I, like I said, I just seen somebody dumping it. I went and got my cart and just got it. It's still steaming. Yeah. The water's still hot. Yeah, they just dumped it. I'm gonna walk over here, Jason. <laughs> I think I should pretty, it's pretty easy. Do you have your ID on you? No, I said no. So you saw him dump it and then you picked it up? I, yeah, when he got my car, I stayed right up there. Yeah. Old band Where you live at? Right up the street. In that old garage up there. So were you just walking over there and saw him dump it or what? I just seen him dump it and I went and got that, you know. Hey, ain't nobody. So where exactly did they dump it? Okay, you see where he's at right now? Yep. Okay. Now watch. Right there, where he goes to that lot right there, right there he on that over corner. in that lot. Then why were you coming from this direction? Or did you just cross the street? I just crossed the street, brother. What was your last address you looked at? last address. Where do you get mail? I don't know. Really I haven't had mail in. Do you get checks or anything? No. Sir? No. You want to come clean now and what happened? I'm telling you, I seen them guys dumping this stuff. I got my cart, because I be sleeping in the garage up there. I just got my cart and got it, man. I mean, because I can sell that kind of stuff. Simple as that. Okay. I just... Well, no. And he followed your water trail right up to the business. Well, I seen where they dumped it, dog. So, you know, I even got my car. And my car don't have no water on it except for... There's the water in here, man. It's coming out of here. Yeah, I know. I just seen them dump it, so I just went and got it, dog. Come on. Let's not, <laughs> let's not play games with each other. I'm not other. playing games. Hey, man, I junk across here all the time. Okay. I seen them dump it. I can sell that junk, so I just got it. As simple as that. We call the owner of that business down and have him look at this and compare the serial numbers. It's not going to be from his business. I have no slightest idea. All I've seen them is dump it. Since they dumped it, I picked it up. What's up, dude? You got him. Yeah. I'm the one who's always selling stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there you go. Whenever I see junk, I guess it. He said he saw somebody dump it, and he immediately went over and retrieved it. Yeah. And do you have TV or purple or something? No, but I got the I, uh Huh? Just the mask for? Oh, because I, I, I might, I got cancer, so oh, I. Okay. Well, let's put it back. Over. You have cancer? Uh huh. I got colorectal cancer. Okay. And so I get sick a lot, so I just keep that kind of stuff on. Okay, let's just keep it on. Then. Outstanding. Uh huh? I said that's great. The wagon. You ready for him to go? Yeah, we can go and load him up. We got this guy uh, pushing this hot water heater down the street at 2 o'clock in the morning. Obviously, it doesn't look right. He says he just found it in the, uh, in the alley. And uh, the water's still steaming, and there's fresh filings in the pipes where he's cut it. So walk back here, and there's just a solid trail of water leading from that hot water heater all the way back through this alley. Boy, it doesn't take a much more than common sense to figure this crime out. It's like he stopped right here and rested a little. It's all the way back in through here. You still see it starting to dry up a little bit. How do you think he got in, Sarge? Do you think he just kicked it or pried it open? Didn't see any crime marks, just look like he might have been Well. Just right here, maybe. And the water trail comes all the way on in here. This business loops back around. And into this bathroom where you can see where they all, everything he cuts right here. And he had everything to cut this stuff. He had uh, 10 snips to cut this. And then uh, it looks like maybe he just wrenched that off there, tried to cover it up to stop the water. And uh, there's the vent. He just ripped it all out and he's carrying a piece of the vent pipe and everything else right along with it. He brought, like most burglars, he brought all the, all the tools he needed with him. 
and he can improvise with anything else. It just goes to show you never know what you're going to come across at 2.30 in the morning. A guy carrying a hot water heater. Now he's in hot water, I guess. Well, I got into law enforcement after I uh, left college. I was a finance major in college. Decided I wanted something more challenging, wanted something more exciting. Didn't want to hit the office every day. I wanted to be out among people in the streets. I don't take the job home with me. When I uh, when I leave work, it work stays at work. I got a I got a nice family to go home to. Uh, there's, there's nothing more enjoyable than going home and spending time with the family. I'm gonna be at 10:14, within a few miles from this location of Tennessee. We're out to a disturbance here. Dispatch advised that the the uh, victims possibly uh, locked away inside the residence, being beaten by a man. He's supposed to not. Being allowed anyone in the house. I'm gonna check it out. Nineteen, we're coming up two three. We can go on in sixteen. Uh black male doing out from this location of tenant state starting mileage two nine two six five. What do you got here? They're up there yelling, trying to get out. He's got her locked in the third floor. He's illegal. She's told him to leave, and he said he'd kill her first. And this is my house. Okay. This is your house? Yes, sir. And it's her daughter. And it's my child. Let me in, Lord. Now. Police, man. Let me see your hands. See your hands. Keep them out where I can see them. Go ahead and touch the wall. Keep hitting hands on the wall. Hands on the wall here. Came to look for him, and I went with him to look for him, and he came home. He's been drinking. I don't know what's wrong with him. Hey, I heard him hit you two times, child. He didn't hit me. He hit the wall. I heard him slap you twice, child. Don't give me no I stood on them stairs with no sound. And I've heard the thumps up here on the floor. Hey, I've had it. Here, bottle. He's been stomping. I don't care. Not. He's gone. No, 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 you're gone. They There's no that. Lorena. No more. Easy, man. Easy. Don't we say no, bottle? No, Lorena. You're not speaking that. No. 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 you he lived with his friends, and I went and looked for him, and I found him with his friends, and I told him, I said, these people are looking for you, and I'm going home. He said no, and he grabbed me by the hair, and he brought me home, and we've been up here fighting ever since. I'm out of my are you, I, I, are you guys boyfriend, girlfriend? He's illegal. Okay, well, this is obviously domestic violence under state law. If you don't find the ticket, I'm going to, okay? So he's going to go to jail anyway. But I don't want him out. Okay. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and put him in. She's going to sign a ticket for better. Keep walking. Come on. Keep walking, man. Lorena. Keep walking. Lorena. Get him in your car. Yeah. I'll take it. All right, man. Lay against the car here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pass you down one more time before we put you in the car. You got any weapons or drugs on you? Lorena! Lorena! What's in your pocket here? Lorena! Lorena! Nice little roll on that one, eh? Lorena! She wants to talk to somebody too. When we get him in the car, we'll go ahead and. She's probably going to say something about this. Go ahead and put him in the car. Yeah, I don't know.
We're going to talk to the uh, girlfriend. She wanted to talk to us while we were up there, but she wanted to talk to him with him out of, out of the, the picture here. So maybe she's got something she can tell us about this. She might have more information. She said that he had some methamphetamine or something on him. And he knows he's not supposed to be around her because she's on parole. Okay. And she is scared to death because he has threatened to kill her if he gets out. Okay. And like I Let's said, go talk to her, huh? he can come in this house with no key. Is that meth in his pocket there? Yeah, he showed it to me upstairs. I didn't know that he had it, and I went to look for him. But he keeps thinking we wouldn't do anything. And I just reached. I reached, the one that I reached the end. I ha I've been drinking. I will not drive my car when I drink. I gave her my car, said, go call the police. Clear. And, and I heard over here with no sirens. And I told Jackie, I said, you need to go up and see what's going on. It's because he has a knife upstairs. And he, he, I, when I sat down on the bed, I put my feet over it so that he couldn't get it. And he pushed me out of the way to try and get it. And I screamed. Did you ever tell you with that knife? But see the marks on her? Yeah. Those, Those are, are all from, from him. him. And yes. marks that she can't show you. He's threatened me before. And he says get, when he gets out, he'll come back and well, kill me. He says if he's, they he's, deport him, all, they're, all he's going to do is come back and he'll kill me. He'll, he'll be in jail for a little bit longer now that we have the meth. That's okay. why I asked you to come back in so I can tell you okay. about it. Okay. I don't want to any parole. I don't want to no. get in any yeah. trouble. Is there any way we can keep a watch on the house? Because we yes. do not have a working telephone here. We will put an occasion watch on the house. Okay. It's a good feeling. You, you come to these calls and uh, we're approaching the door. Uh, you heard her screaming. Uh, Get in there. He's a big man, whooping up on her, and uh, you put the bracelets on him, and he starts to start to do his little crying song on you. It feels good to actually help somebody. Plus, we got a little bit extra with the dope. The bad guy goes to jail. My philosophy in dealing with people is basically: you treat me with respect, and I'm going to treat you with respect. Um, I'm out here trying to do a good job, uh, solve crimes, and put the bad guys in jail. Anytime I can help people and any way that I can, that's just an added bonus. Going on a shooting, just got dispatched to 4700 block of Cleveland. Evidently, there's supposed to be a black male down, shot, but... Now they're getting another shooting. It's probably gonna be related. In the back parking lot here, maybe. We have a witness advising to the Who shot? Both of them. Sir, There's a guy in my house. My mom let him come in here. He passed out. He... Parker, are you shot? No, I don't think so. He's upstairs in my house. What apartment? Open the door for me. I'll have my keys. Did you hold it? Did you hold it, Jace? No. No, we just let him come in because he's shot. He's passed out. Yeah, you know. Ain't nobody in there right now. Nobody's in there. You got a gun, man. You got a gun. Uh, What's up? Let's do that. This guy's supposed to be still armed, Jason. He's passed out. He's with us. Is anybody else in here? Hang on, hang on. We got him. Where's the gun at? Where's the gun? Huh? Where's the gun? That ain't no gun. He shot me. He's where's the gun? That ain't no gun. He shot me, so. Okay, he can talk with us. where's the gun? It was laying on the floor. When these other guys grabbed it then. Where you shot at? There in the back? Mom, where the gun at? What you gun at, baby? I didn't have one. If I got the folks, we need to find out where that gun is, because we ain't going nowhere until we find out where the weapon is. Uh -huh. shot. Shot shot. I'm going to need you to hang out, okay? Come, Come in here and have a seat. Come on now, get the paramedics in. They're coming. Hey, let's not blow it. I work for the county. Yeah, that's the nigga that be next door. Well, baby, you have to come up at the apartment. Uh -huh. oh, this young man is shot now. I know, I know, I shot him. And we're going to stop shooting each other. Yeah, this guy's going on me. Well, you here. Have a seat on the floor. Okay. Do you have any weapons on Have a seat on the floor. Okay. Let me check. We're just trying to Have a seat on the floor. I didn't just, no, let him have a seat out there somewhere. Well, I, I'm busy right now. He'll have a seat where I tell him to have a seat till we get everything straight and I get more help he just here. You heard this young man screaming now. He's down there shooting and he got shot and I told him to come into my apartment. Does, that's right, but he's We don't know him. Ma'am, does it? What's this guy have to do with it? Anything? No, it's just Jason. That's his friend. Yeah. Ma'am, ma'am, 
I need you and you to go outside. I got a gun here. Just for now, okay? Come on, Mark. He'll be all right. Yeah, the paramedics are coming. So He'll be all right. He's still my pager and my all. Well, y'all don't know what. Okay. Hang on. Just that step outside for me, okay? That's stupid. Okay, we got to be humanitarian. Go ahead and go down on your knees for a second. This ain't no jail house. This ain't no jail house. And maybe, though, you got shot, though. You're wrong for disrespecting me. Tell you ain't got no gun up in my house. Hey, Ma'am? Be advised the radio's I know it's your house and everything, but I just need everybody out here because I got the weapon and I'm not going to move it because it's involved in shooting. Can you just step outside in the hallway for me, please? Okay. You have no weapons on you, right? No. Lean forward for just a second. Gun and crack. I wonder what this shooting's over. I'll tell you what, it's over, man. I come out of the parking lot, get my car. He brought up on the side of me with a gun. You got anything else on you, man? Huh? Yeah, you should have my pager and my gold chain. Did you shoot this guy? Yeah. And you said that earlier, didn't you? You said you shot him earlier, didn't you, when yeah. he came in here? Well, guess what? You're under arrest for shooting this guy. He pulled out a gun on me. He's going to shoot me. You guys, we got a gun here. This is our suspect did the shooting. This is a victim. Just help us keep an eye on him. I don't want to don't move the gun. Somebody's, somebody's already cleared it. It's like this, and there's crack right next to it, so I don't want to. He's, he spontaneously uttered he shot this guy because this guy pulled a gun on him. We don't know where his weapon is. I just searched him. He don't have it on him for now, and I'm in the middle of searching this guy. Suspect in custody. We need a wagon. Also, we have a gun recovered. Uh, have the gun located. We need CSI out here. How come you got shot? He just started shooting. And then have nothing to do with your gun, huh? Uh, gun there, fellas. I'm not going to move it, so try to not disturb the that and the crack. So let's not move that. If we can. Let's just put the yeah, cushion back. Okay. The guy that's shot in here, who is he? We don't know. I just heard a guy screaming in the hallway. Okay, so you don't really know him, not related or anything? No, no, no. God help him. No. Okay. They were shooting outside for a while. It's still, it's still underneath there, Chase. Oh, What's up, Carrie? Right, I'm just directing traffic. Just directing traffic. Ma'am, they're going to be coming out through here, so I'm going to need you to get out of the way for the ambulance people, please. I saw him when he came in with the gun, and my neighbor was out here, and I asked my neighbor if he got shot, and I didn't have a phone. Nobody else in my building had one. And um, he said no, and he was just bleeding, and I told him no, this is head back. So I ran over here, and this lady said she called the police, and there was this ambulance coming. Okay. And when we went upstairs, he's just like... He's just bleeding everywhere. My mom's trying to talk to him. So I don't know if she knew he had it, but he hid it under my couch. Okay. Here's a casing right here. Shell casing there, another one farther up. I think we have a total of about eight to ten shots fired. It looks like our suspect right now took at least five or six of those. The gunshot victim is actually going to be a suspect in an attempted robbery. Right. The and guy... he didn't fire any rounds because the magazine was out of his gun or something. Right. The guy who actually got shot was the one who was attempting to rob or carjack the guy who was in this car. So it's kind of a confusing deal, but... But we got everybody involved. Every, so. Everything's worked out now. Just picked the wrong guy to rob then, huh? Yeah. I've been a police officer here in Kansas City for about a year and a half. Went to college, got my criminal justice degree. My dad was a police officer with Kansas City for about 27 years, retired last year. Ever since I can remember, I wanted to be a police officer here in Kansas City. 142, 10-8, three out 39, Disturbance call up the street here. Don't have any information about it. Seems like I've been to this house before. I can't remember. There's a couple houses along here that we have problems with. They call us periodically, usually disturbance. Your radio cut out. I can't Inside. Inside. Come here. Never. I called on this one here, my oldest son. 
Uh, he had a purse, and he stole a, a lighter no. out of the purse. He, one of the two got in my purse, and well, the point about the lighter is not the lighter. It is he put his hands in my purse when I was gone. Okay, is this your, is this your son, you're saying? My son. No, son. my son is 14 oh, months old, though. Okay. Who is no. he to you? Who's it? He just lives downstairs from me. He lives downstairs from you? We live on first floor. I live upstairs. Did he steal anything from you? He took a lighter out of my purse. The deal, though, is he went in my room, he went in my purse when I was gone at work. And I found the lighter. It's your son? Yes, and I found the have lighter. You done any, have you disciplined him for doing that? Have you said anything to him? Or? We, we talked to him, and I also said that he had to work a full day for her because she got her lighter back. I but the thing the is, he went in my purse and in my room when I was gone to work. And my room is usually locked off. Right. Okay. That is the whole deal. I'm not worried about the lighter. I could have got another lighter. The deal is he went in you my don't room. Think that I have jewelry in my room. He could have stolen my jewelry. You don't think that what she's doing with her disciplining her son is enough? You, you think well, that he actually, needs to go to jail? to tell you the truth, he needs more than what she can do for him. Because he will run, try to run her over. How old is he? he is 12. 12 years old? Does he have a father? Come here a second. Oh, yeah. That's he is. His daddy said, oh, well. What's your name? Robert. Robert? What's going on? Why are you going into her purse? I didn't go into her purse. You didn't go into her purse? You're going to keep saying that, but then who was it? Cause it was Robert, you, you know what can happen to you right now if she wants to? If she wants to prosecute, we'll just put you in cuffs and go down to the juvenile unit. You want to do her, that? If it would keep me from going to juvenile, I'd, I'd tell her I did it. it but one of you two went in my purse. That's not the way you go about it. Come here. Come here, partner. David. Did you go into her, into her purse? No, I yes. haven't been up in the room for the past clothes. month, so. And I found it in here. his shorts. Yeah. In his shorts, yes, sir. Well, did he do it? Did he go into her purse? Did he go into her purse? I know I she always has him to go up and watch the baby watch while she goes did, to Did school. he, yes or no? Did he go into her purse? I don't know. Junior has not yeah, been up there to help with the baby in a month. <laughs> and that lighter was in there. He said earlier and that he was he was gonna he sell, tried it to to sell it to another woman. He tried to sell it to my friend's mom for forty five dollars. A lighter? Yes, a camel. One lighter. of them Campbell lighters. It's a real old lighter. Oh, okay. It's a thirty five year old lighter. So he's trying to sell it? Yeah, to Becky. My name is Becky. When did you try to do that today? Uh-uh, uh about, about a month ago, like she said. About a month ago, that lighter was in there. No, when at, why, when did he spend the night at uh, Wines? How, how long that ago? That was Have you been down to Juvenile Fine. ever? Yeah, yes, he was in there once, but and trying to tell me today. And you got his picture in there, and you said the What's next one. that for? That was trying to strangle his brother. Did you like it down there? No. Did you like it so much that you want to go back for stealing a lighter? No. Are you trying to sell his light, this lighter or something? No. That's what your brother's saying. We can ask one. You got something to say? I'm sorry. And it won't happen again. And it will not happen again. It won't happen again. I know, because I'm getting a deadbolt put on my door. And if it gets, if somebody comes up with something else out of my room, they will go to jail. But this isn't the first time, sir. He has stole this man's Vienna sausage. Okay, you and you need to discipline him. You need to take care of him. You're the mother. Listen, what I do is you're I the grounded. mother. I what to I do him. is grounded. I talk, I talk to, he said he's going he's to accept any punishment you want to give him. I told him he had to work a full day for her to pay back for what he has done. Her. He won't do what she tells him. Well, listen, him. I'll tell you what. Trust if you, listen. If you don't work for her, all she has to do is call us back and we'll come right back and we'll take you down to juvenile, okay? If you want to play that route, she can, I mean, she could prosecute you anytime. Just because it happened today doesn't mean she can't call me next week and have us come by and arrest you. You understand? Whatever punishment your mom puts on you, you better take care of it. Because if she calls me back and I come back here, I promise you, you're going to go down to juvenile, okay? You, you can understand? spend a weekend down there. He's on a week's room restriction, and he's to work for her. Okay. What's good in your room, sir? Day off. Yeah. That might be about uh, two weeks from now. Okay. No, we got work up there for him to do Call tonight. Us back he's going to help us. 
Okay. If you want to come talk to him again, call us back, all right? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, it seems like people call for the strangest reasons. They call you up to work out their problems, and you'd think they could work it out themselves. They'd rather have the police come and help them out. A lot of times, we're like parents, we're like social workers, all wrapped up in one. Most police officers, they get called to a house, uh, they do a job. A lot of times, people are not happy to see the police. They don't have anything good to say to you, and you go on your way. Sometimes you go on calls, you get these people that just are always you know, they thank you, they appreciate your work, and it, it's appreciated by officers, too, when they get somebody, you know, to thank them for the, the good job they do, and, you know, that's the rewarding part of it. Got reports of a cutting, guys in a lady's been cut. Uh, we're with our backup unit here right now, or coming up in the area. See what we got. What we got? He's got it. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. Go ahead, get kill you. Get on the ground. Anthony, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, he he tried to. Look at my neck. Okay. Are you cut? We're... I got one cut. Is that from a knife or yes. what? Yes. Yeah, I've got I, one. I finally got okay, where, where's where's from him. Him. I it. Where's he at? My throat. Where's he at? He's in the house the next door. 641. You just stay here, okay? You just stay here. I want is, that your, is that your address? No, no. I was just visiting him. Okay, and he's upstairs. What does he look like? He's a black man. Was he's this a... the one you were sitting with there? Yes, sir. Uh, my stuff is up in the apartment. Some of my mine, stuff. Mine, mine are cut. Hi there, what there. happened? Arm? Well, I, I almost got killed tonight. Okay, you got <laughs> stabbed? <laughs> well, you, where'd you get stabbed at? supervisor is going to be extremely there. minor. Cut to the leg. 120 copy, minor. 120 copy. He's in that house, sir. <laughs> Come here, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Anthony. Oh, put and the cigarette down. Oh, oh, I live here. Put the cigarette down. Oh, no, I live here. I want to prosecute. I want to What's prosecute. your name? I, uh, my, my rent people live right here. I want Duncan! Put that cigarette down. No, you better talk to my rent people. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Don't, don't pull away from me. No, don't, don't pull away well, from me. As long as I can get assault charges. Huh? I'm sorry. That, yeah, man. Put the cigarette down. I live here. Put the cigarette down. Come here. Come here. What I tell you to do with that cigarette? I want both of those. Where'd you go, my Tire shoe, get in there. Get in. Get in there. Get in there. Huh? My head. Um, it's not a cut in. I got one, he one cut there. It's just a scratch. Um, he beat her then. Uh, he, he threatened he me with a knife. He mainly tried to strangle me. He threatened me with a knife. Okay. I thought I was going to die tonight. I really did. So let's go with bad I, I yeah, thought I was going to die. I really. I thought it was going to die. Listen, listen. Calm, <laughs> slow your breathing down again like I explained to you, okay? Calm down because that's not going to help. There you go. That's good. Okay, here you go. Hold on to this. I need you to sign this paper here if you don't want to go to the hospital. You're sure you don't want to go, right? I, I just want to wait out of here. Okay. Well, you're, want, you don't want to go to the hospital, live though, right? Where you I live at? in Salina, Kansas, but I got a friend. I need you to sign call. right here. Nestor says that you don't want to go to the hospital. You live in Salina, Kansas? Yes, I got a friend. I can call here and tell him, though, to get away from here until I can get back to Salina. I, I... Are you wanting to press charges on this guy? I just want my belongings back. And I want to get away from him immediately. Okay, I was able to get out, and then I have some of my stuff up, up upstairs, over there. 
Were you visiting him or? Yes, I was visiting him. But he's not your boyfriend or anything? No. No. I was just visiting from Swanee, Kansas. I didn't realize it was going to turn into a, a, I, I came very close to getting killed tonight. Why, why was he fighting him? What was, all, what was it all about? What were you guys fighting about? He says you're his ex-girlfriend. That's what he says. He's wrong. You two were the ones that said to turn James earlier underneath the bridge, weren't you? We were, yes. And, and I, I managed to get back here. I managed to get back here. And I was going to get my stuff and try to leave, and he tried to stop me, and he came very close to killing me. Have you, how much you guys had to drink tonight? I've had about a six-pack, sir. Okay. Why did he again. threaten you with a knife? What was that about? He didn't want me to leave, and, and he was getting very abusive, and I... <laughs> Thanks. I, I, um, he was getting very abusive, and I told him... Yeah, just let me get my stuff and I'll get out. And he, I don't know, before I knew it, he had me on the floor and pin and he had the knife at my throat. Okay. Let's walk over to the car. You want to come on over here like this? Did you see any of this happen or? Oh, what, what can you tell me what happened? I'm in this house working. I'm oh. remodeling. I got the doors wide open. And I hear blood curdling yell when I look up and. She's running over there with a knife in her hand. I, th I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I mean, because she's going, ah! And uh, so I got the knife from her. And I'm like, you know, let's just call 911. And she said she had to get back over here. So she come back over here. And I run down to the payphone and called you guys. And when I come back, I didn't see her anyone. I walked in and I seen she had brought her stuff. Or somebody had brought their stuff in. Over there, a bag full of stuff. And so I come look around outside and come from over here, across there, and sit down on the floor. And you guys showed up shortly after that. Okay. But that's that. Uh, now you can't smoke in the car. If, no, go ahead and put it out. There ain't no sense in lighting that because you ain't going to go smoke my car anyways. She's saying it's not domestic. He's saying it is. So we'll take his word for it. And because it is a domestic thing, uh, we'll, he's going to jail. Four six hours for domestic batter. It sounds real strange to me, but she's obviously leaving town now.